everything. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Truly, risen. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made for us. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. Thank you, Lord, for this continuous octave of Easter, experiencing your love, your mercy, your resurrection. For us to savor deeply what you have done or what the Father has done for you, for the love of you and for the love of us. You restored us back to the Father and we are grateful, O oh Lord. May we restore ourselves to you as well, O oh Lord, to the end as you have reconciled us to the Father, we be reconciled with you, with each other, and continuously look a glimpse on your resurrection, look at you as the final end of our life as well. And that we do with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Bless our Galilee moment this evening, O oh Lord. And bless us all gathered wherever we are. Keep safe members of our the global warriors, wherever they are, as well as our loved ones, our families. Bless those who are traveling, sister, especially Tita Bell. And bless us all those who are in need of your mercy. Grant healing to those who are sick and to those who are grieving. And grant eternal rest to those faithful departed loved ones of ours. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you. Glory to you. Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she, she went over to the tomb and saw the two angels white sitting there one at the head and one at the feet where the Lord Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener said to him, sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. We go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the and what he did. The gospel. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Truly, he is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. We continue to experience the experiences of the women, of course, later on of the disciples in the tomb, as well as in the cave where Jesus was laid. We continue to see the dynamics of it and reflect it as well in our lives. Today, we have still Mary Magdalene remaining in the cave because she could not find Jesus. If yesterday, of course, it was assured already Today, John, in the gospel, would, we would see Mary still there at the cave, weeping and trying to figure out what had happened. And so still, peeping inside the cave, she wanted to see Jesus. But take note of the next conversation when the two angels said, woman, why are you weeping? And the same answer they did, they have taken my Lord. The second, it was Jesus already. Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Here, take note of a significant factor. Mary was grieving. Mary was in sadness. And you realize that when you are in sadness, grieving, full of emotions, you could not see clearly because your heart is full of many things that are running inside. So much so that even if it is Jesus, at times we do not recognize Still, it's a generic name, noun, woman, why are you weeping? Woman, why, whom are you looking for? 
But the third part is a very personal encounter. When Mary did not recognize the Lord, when the Lord said woman, but when the Lord said Mary, then Mary had recognized the voice. You realize that the call from the very beginning from Abraham is a personal experience. The Lord calls us by name. That's why the name given to us in baptism, the name that we will be always called, and that is very personal to us because it is our love relationship with the Lord. That's why that name should be cared. That name should continue to live in its wonderful dignity. That name should always uphold what is of and pleasing to the Lord. Mary, the word Jesus uttered. And Mary immediately recognized the master, Rabboni, teacher. He knew that it is the voice of the Lord. He knew that it was the teacher preaching. She knew that it was the teacher who forgave her. She knew that it was the teacher who went around. Her personal experience of Jesus, because she was called by the Lord to a life of love, allowed her to recognize the master and the teacher of all love. And only a love that is only a heart that is forgiven from sincere repentance can recognize the Lord. And so Mary had all the excitement. Of course, later on, Jesus was said, do not cling to me. I have still to go to my father and your father, to my God and to your God. This is a beautiful story of a personal encounter of a woman forgiven because of her sinfulness. A woman who longed for the Lord. A woman who ran to the tomb early in the morning just to check if the Lord is there just to put again ointments and because she loves so much. A person who loves so much would always seek the Lord. A person who loves so much come what may would prioritize the Lord. And beautiful is the song that we are singing, seek first the kingdom of God and everything will be added unto you. Mary is an epitome of an encounter with the Lord beyond her weakness, beyond her sinfulness forgiven and love, and that's the Lord. And today the Lord comes to us. Yes, why are we weeping in so many ways? Not because simply of death, not because of other things, but first our weeping is because in the experience of death, we know that we lose someone we love and it becomes our gratitude. In the experience of painful life, we know that there is something lacking something that it is beyond us. That's why we cry. But our real weeping, as the Lord said, even to the women of Jerusalem, he said, weep not for me, but weep for your sins and for your children. Our weeping should be and leading us towards real repentance. That then we will encounter the Lord. But we will encounter the Lord when we have that personal relationship. We will encounter the Lord when we hear his voice calling us by our name every moment, every time, and for us to recognize and say, Master, or Teacher, or Savior. And that would be our response. And ultimately, <clears throat> like Mary, our mission is to go back not only to the disciples, but to the world and proclaim, I have seen the Lord. People who are forgiven, people who are loved, people who are near the Lord, and only declare every moment, I have seen the Lord. That is our Easter message. We are men and women of Easter because we have seen the Lord. And we will never go back to the darkness of life. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For calling us. For calling us. Each one of us. Each one of us. In a very personal way. In a very personal, very personal way. Our respective names. Our respective names. The name that is so dear to you. The name that is so dear to you. The name that is so precious to you. The name that is so precious to you. The name that could only recognize your voice. The name, the name that, that only recognizes your voice. Send us your spirit, O Lord. Send us your spirit, O Lord. That wherever we are, that wherever we are, we will hear your voice calling us. 
calling us through our prayer through our, our prayer in the voices of the many people around us and the, the voices of the many people around us in the different events we are experiencing the different events that we are experiencing even in moments of suffering sickness and death even in the moments of suffering sickness and death may we hear these voices oh lord May we hear, hear these voices, O oh Lord, and we may recognize that it is your voice. And may we recognize that, we recognize that it is your voice calling us, calling us, and give us the strength, O oh Lord, and give us the strength, O oh Lord, Lord, to proclaim you like Mary, to proclaim you like Mary, that we have seen you. That, that we have seen you as a testimony of your resurrection. As a testimony of your resurrection. resurrection. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, 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 now that the hour of our death. Hour Amen. Of our death. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Pray for, Pray for us, us. angel of God. My guardian, dear, to whom God's love, whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, night, day at our, our side, side, light and guard, light and guard to rule and, and guide. Amen. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray, Pray for us. us. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all and our families, the Father and the, the Son Father, and the, the Holy, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening, Thank you, all. Father. Good evening, Thank Father. Welcome, Thank, you. Welcome. Thank you very much, Father. You, Welcome, Father. Po, titos, yeah. titas. So nice to see you. It's Holy Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Easter. Easter Tuesday. Easter Tuesday. Still a holy day. <laughs> yes. In Italy, we call this week as the Pasquetta. No? It's the small Easter of Pascal, a Pasch fiesta. So from Easter yes. Sunday until next Sunday. But these are all days of vacation. Because uh. for the they are given really the chance to save for the resurrection of the Lord. Mm. And it's so nice, it's so nice. Kasi sa atin parang back tayo to normal, no? Parang yung oh. naging ano, is minsan yung it's more of the Christmas. And we, we lost at times the very essence of the Easter season. Dito nga eh, baliwala dito. <laughs> <laughs> baliwala. Hindi mo ma-feel, no? Hindi mo ma-feel na Wala, hindi mo ma-feel. Mm -hmm. Uh, open our office, open lahat. <laughs> yes. But at least in its one's heart, uh, again, the longing, no, the desire to meet the Lord, to look for the Lord. Uh, um, uh, Father, I'm uh, mm -hmm. um, thinking about the gospel, Father, but uh, culture nila yan or tradition nila, Father, na Ang, ang body is uh, gina, ano, gina ano, han ng oil or especially for Jesus only? Well, I guess uh, the tradition is that the body is wrapped, prepared. Okay, that's why makita nyo sa all the Egyptians, no? they have their so-called uh, mummies. And um, Lazarus had been wrapped as well. And that, that they have done the same with Jesus. But the thing lang is, uh, of course, it's another story because he's already buried inside the cave. And we know that uh, it's not opened anymore because of the stench. Uh -huh. So they're, they're going there. It's still like the sort of visiting the dead and honoring the dead. Mm -hmm. I said he was already prepared for burial. So, you know, when the body is prepared, they would not touch it anymore. That's why even in the Jewish culture, the tomb is never reused. So the tomb uh, is always new for a person. Uh, 
so they were there to, to visit. All the gospel account would say they were thinking of who will roll the stone for them. But although it's already a sealed one, so practically it's a language of uh, more than that, the sealed tomb. And they were witnesses that he was buried there. And of course, the main thing, the main idea is the resurrection where the stone, which is too heavy, has been ruled and they could not find the body. Very strong. Or for example, today so. in Iloilo, no, when, you, when there's some, someone is dead, it takes you three days before being given, before having the wake, because of course they have to sort of cleanse the body, put everything so on and so dry the body. So oh. on and so forth. Not like at times, you know, of course, United States, Manila, parang if you die at last four o'clock in the afternoon, eight o'clock or after a few hours, you are ready already because of the formalin that they are using as well. And now you can use the American formalin that makes the body even soft, as if you know it, it, it doesn't become stiff. So different ways of preparing now the body. Ano yung follow up niya tita? Ah, just thinking. <laughs> just thinking, ba? Na ang ano na. Um, the evidence, no, it, it is a strong, it, it is a strong evidence, Father, na na sealed na ang tomb, and then definitely very heavy na ang 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 rock no na gin, gin cover, no, and then and then kung bakit na open, kung bakit na open, mm -hmm. very strong evidence na sana yan na talagang he, he was risen, no, he was risen. Yes. Oo. Tapos tapos Father, um, during that time, saan ang mga apostles? Well, uh, they were still hiding because of the fear of the Jews. In the account of St. John and other synoptics, that's why I was saying the other day, the women, we salute the women because they are the courageous ones. Even if they have no legal testimony, no? They, they were there in the tomb early morning. And of course, they're witnessing, although not credible, not accepted, I mean, but the disciples believe them. So the, 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 that's why, you know, sabi ko, the men were still hiding. Oh. <laughs> the, the, beside the apostles. Oh. <laughs> women are hiding. Huh? <laughs> While the women are, are there already. <laughs> so, Father, it somehow yes. proves that uh, we can say that women are the stronger sex. Well, of course we are. Of course we are. <laughs> could be, could be. We are. <laughs> right now there will be different different violent reactions. <laughs> Not by strength, but of course we are, Tito Mani. <laughs> but you know, in in Jesus' life, the insignificant, those who are forgotten, sabi natin, the forlorn, they are they have all they are always the first priority for the Lord. The poor, the least, the last. These are all people that the Lord would give always the first priority. That's why who were on the cross? The women. Oh, the mothers. Of it's course, the mother. The mothers. So. I would realize that, you know, even in fact. Yes, for Dita. They say that the uh, Easter is... Uh, a little bit uh, more significant compared to Christmas. How is yes. that? Uh, it's very true. Christmas? In fact, in fact, that's the central point of our faith. That's the central mystery of our faith, the resurrection. The incarnation is the one phase of the whole event and the life of Jesus, but it is just the first one. So born in order to fulfill the mission of the Father. And the mission is to spread the good news on and so forth. But above all, to have the remission of the sins of humanity. 
the forgiveness through the shedding of the blood. The birth is an easy one, but to die according to the will of the Father and your own will, surrendering its, uh, yourself and then being resurrected by the Father, that's the greatest mystery. That's the greatest thing of all. Yes, it's, it's more than Christmas. That's why you, at times we have uh, taken more, we give more celebrations at Christmas. We, we forgot that the main message of Jesus coming is the giving of himself on the cross. But they say, Father, that if there is no Christmas, it's possible that there will be, there will be no Easter. Yeah, I mean, of course, he has started to be born, but this, that is just the first phase, as I said. It's a continuous thing. It's a continuous thing. They are not separated. That's why we have to look at the manger, manger, which is also wood, towards the wood of the cross. The incarnation is love, towards the greatest love of self-offering. The incarnation is the light, starting of the light. But the real light comes in when the Lord has been raised from the dead. That makes Easter the most significant for our faith and central theme for our faith. That's why we say it's the central mystery of our faith. The only thing is, parang Christmas, kasi parang we tantamountly we we put into a perspective of of giving gifts. But we have not realized that the best gift that the Lord has given us is the forgiveness of our sins, which is done and commemorated during the Holy Week. Yung pagpapatawad ng kasalanan natin. Yun yung pinaka-importante doon. Kasi ang, ang, ang incarnation, simula pa lang yan. The impact here sa life natin is the forgiveness of our sins and He died for us so that we can live. Yes. Yun ang impact. No? He laid down His life. No? Very brutal. Yeah. Yes, no? Very brutal. Na-remember ko kasi palagi, kasi nabasa ko in detail ba? Hinahanap ko kung saan, ang in detail ba what happened to to a person being crucified. Being crucified. Yeah, oh, during the time, mm. during the time, very, very human, si Jesus, no? And then, a medical explanation, but um, to the last nerve, to the last bone, to the la last cartilage is uh, talagang the my pain. The cause of death. The cause of death. Yeah, oh. The cause of death is uh, asphyxiation. asphyxiation. Hindi siya maka... And, 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 ano, and shock. Hindi siya makaginhawa. Mm. Mm. Shock, ano niya. So he must be bleeding. He must be bleeding and then natusok ang ano niya, yung, yung, anong tawag dito, yung heart niya na, ano, natusok. So nag, uh, ang, ang, ang medical term niyan is nag cardiac tamponad siya. Uh -oh. But why, why, why were they so cruel, Father? Why were they not satisfied with just, you know, a few lashes and all of that? They were so cruel. He received so many ano yung yeah. wounds. Lashes, wounds, scourging. Oh. It, was it normal, uh, because, Father? I know crucifixion no, no, the, the, was kind of a practice then, pero bakit mm -hmm. naman napaka-cruel? Like, well, he, he was accused he was, of blasphemy of, you know, they ah. could not find anything against him, but you know, to for for him, as they said, to blaspheme, to make himself as a god, that was too much for them. So he ah. deserved as well bigger punishment for what he had done. So much so that you know, the way they did was just a free, free scourging, everything. That's oh. why uh, the book of Isaiah, no, you you realize that in the uh, fourth uh, song of the servant. You, he was described as he was bruised. He has he was yeah. disfigured. No yeah. beauty at all. Disfigured. Yung, yung word disfigured. Na, no beauty at all. Disfigured. Because it's it's because of anger. It's because of hate. It's because of you know in, in humanity, in humanity. 
of course yeah. uh, they were already afraid because he was he, he was he has gaining he was gaining followers mm. but beyond the hug gaining followers you know parang for them uh, they, they have to do that one to the person that you know that could be a threat to them to a person uh-huh. that uh, had really sabi natin sinned against sacrilege in their eyes huh? in their eyes mm. which mm-hmm. was blasphemy yeah and then dalawa ang kasalanan niya ay political and the religious yun siguro no political because he was considered a rebel no but of course Pilate uh-huh. was his hands it was the people who really agitated towards his death so that means father if that's the the, the norm noon um Jesus was not the first person to be crucified and beaten cruelly oh, are, yeah no. every every passover one is released but of course there are other those who had been uh, crucified or those who have the, who, who were killed as well there are those but you know uh, they did it differently with the lord because of their belief of who he is and not accepting him that's why the cross he was pretending to be the king that's why he has to put the thorns they have to put the cloak the robe you know all, all those things it's a mockery of the lord it's a mockery where in fact it's also it's the truth he's the king but on them they could not accept that's why they were mocking him they put the purple robe they put the crown to the one who claimed to be the king of the Jews. That's why when Pilate said, uh, he placed the Jesus of Nazareth, king of the Jews, they said, change that one. <laughs> Put the person he claimed to be the king of the Jews. But Pilate said, what is written was written. He was truly king. He was his king. But they could not believe. Because they are waiting someone who is political in nature as a king. Not a religious one who would transform by love the world. Someone with power, someone with military authority, so on and so forth. That's the king that they were wanting. It's a different connotation of the king that they wanted to have. That's why he was not accepted. It, it's yes. it's um it's so hard to accept no na oh this is our king uh, he he proclaimed to be a king and then who who is he son of a carpenter parang anonymous yeah. oo tapos very poor tapos yes. uh, for them siguro hindi pa learned kasi baka hindi pa nga naka-eskwela si Jesus eh no mm, or naka-eskwela yeah, naman siguro father no naka-eskwela siya sa well, sa, sa mga sinagot Tradition, but he was learned. In fact, uh, when he was just 12 years old, he was sitting with the doctors of the church. Uh-huh. And he was already, uh-huh. you know. He, uh-huh. Yeah, he was abreast uh-huh. with the laws and everything. Uh-huh. So even if he was at home, I, I would feel he was given the learnings necessary. Si Mary, Mary of Magdala, father, considered, gin, gin ano siya, gin kanunay siya. Is she a saint? Yes, yeah, she's a saint. She's a saint. A saint si Mary Magdalene. Mm. Ah. Mary Magdalene, yeah. Saint Mary Magdalene. Ah, okay. Saint Mary Magdalene. Oh, oh. to the fact that she was forgiven by virtue of, of her sinfulness. To the fact that to her, the Lord had uh, presented himself after resurrection. She was the first witness. The first thing. privilege. Yeah. Yes, napaka privilege. Very, very privilege. Very, very privileged. Oh. Yeah. Very, very privileged. Yeah, diba yung sabi natin last time, the one who was forgiven, the one who was longing for the Lord, she was forgiven. She longs for the Lord. Kaya dapat sa kanda na sabi, Tito Ray, diba? Father, baka yung, you know, the longing itself, no? Because we need more the Lord. So, diba, when you are forgiven, the tendency is to look for someone, for that person who had forgiven you, and she knew it is, he is the Lord. Yeah, when the Lord called her Mary, she recognized, Rabboni, teacher. Teacher, because it's a language of everything. With authority over her.
Thank so, you. Okay na for you. today. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you Welcome Father. po. <laughs> Thank so, you very the much. Says, Father. <laughs> Do not weep. The Lord has been raised. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 One one uh, quick question, Father. Wala ka sa apa. silang no. Sa haniway ka. Mm, kasi today we I attended the burial of the mother of our priest in Saraga. Uh, so I, I'm here in Iloilo po for the burial kanina. That's why I'm at home. <laughs> Kilala na namin ang background mo. <laughs> you're not at home. Uh, Thank you very much, Father. Bless Thank you very much for everything. Love you. Take care, Father. Thank you. Kayo din po. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye. We love you. Three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, Mary was sad as she went to the tomb mourning for the death of Jesus, her beloved master. Number two, from such a sad mood, she was immediately transformed to one of great joy and exhilaration when she recognized the risen Christ. The truth of Jesus, teachings, and good news all fell into place. Number three, her life then had a new beginning, seen and lived in the light of everlasting happiness. Do we have such joy at Easter? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. And for the closing prayer. Lord, thank you for all the blessings we received today. Let peace prevail in our heart, in our hearts, in our home, in our community and country. Keep us always safe and let your love reign in our hearts. Amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be glory to the Father, to the Father, Son, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, in the beginning is now and, and ever, and shall, ever shall be, and without be. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.